nothing but the clean, wholesome dude from Ethan to Brady, and now finally he's nuts and it's great. <laughs> and you, every time I talk to you, like I would like to see you go a little evil, and I'm like, hold on. I think and a little birdie heard, heard me somewhere. Yeah, I'm grateful now. And now, how how much further is it going to go? Is this like just the tip? Are we seeing a lot more? I think you know, the writers and producers tend to test the waters a little bit. You know, okay. they run the bath water and see how it feels. And, uh, I, I have a suspicion that it may be continuing. I don't think this is a trait of Brady's that's just a, a trend. I think this very well may be an aspect of his personality that is going to be around for a while. Okay. Actually, I don't see him changing colors anytime soon. Nice. You know, not with as many times as she's manipulated him. You know. <laughs> just as he gets over it, she'll do something to him and then he'll lose his mind again. Or and also, once they see that you can do it, they're like, oh, yes, they can do it some more. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like you it. Just circle your name. You put arrows. There you go. <laughs> you are a crazy, crazy lady. I do. There you go. <laughs> I have no room to talk. I'm never gonna. So, do you think these two could ever have a real relationship? Could they make this work? You. <laughs> I love, I, I love this, this person. She, she has a wonderful work ethic, she cares about it, and she's developed a character that is, is complex and interesting, and not just one, one side of it. And I think that's what Brady's turning into, and I think they... Uh, I'm complimenting me. Hold on a minute. That. Are you alright? <laughs> you need some water. Water. Medic. Oh my God. Medic. <laughs> I do. I have nice things well, to say. Well, thank you. I just did that on camera. I'm not used to it. Oh, the camera's on? I didn't know, even know the camera's on. I just was just talking. I know. I'm saying. I, I like them together. I think they work because they're, they're two very troubled people that aren't perfect, that have done bad things, and that forgive each other. And we, we've been taught this has kind of been a theme for us during the day, but I think forgiveness is the one thing that is really important between them because they accept it. Yeah. It's hard to do sometimes when the, the crap that we've been doing. Well, because in some ways you guys each have your own manipulations you're doing, but if you guys really paired up those manipulations, you could take over Salem I know. easily. We could Google Salem. Devera what? I know. <laughs> is what? Exactly. Now if you would just ask Mary. I already it. talked to you about marriage. I know. I don't think I'd be a good father. I'd put the kids in a timeout in a coffin. That's not true. <laughs> I'll take care of while you work. I'll take care of the kids while you work. Oh my. <laughs> but we want your character to have an auto Yeah, what are we talking about? <laughs> We're doing a scene. Where's my script? <laughs> Nicole seems to be gearing towards a little more Sydney obsession. Where, you know, there was a little bit of a boutique breath. And, uh, <laughs> I just love hearing that. Um, I am, I am, and it, I think like once you get that, that you know, internal instinct, and, and, and I of course had this trial that was taken away from me, um, taken away from me, not that I stole, but right. that was taken away from me. It's not your baby. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom they lost my baby and it was theirs. Truthfully, that is that is a poignant no, aspect no, of the story, story in the sense that Nicole is not supposed to be able to ever have children. She can't have kids. Which See, makes now, if you marry me and we get a surrogate, then we could have a baby and then we every we could stay together. But you don't. No, that's, not, that's not true. I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> Write it. Write it. Surrogate. <laughs> Surrogate. We're writing a whole new storyline. What's there happening here? Are you interviewing? <laughs> it's it's almost a, it's an interview within an interview within a story. I don't know. It's bantering. We're very fun bantering. It's more exciting that way. It is. I know. Oh my All right. god. All right, we're back. Okay. We're back. What do you want to know? Next serious question. <laughs> okay. We haven't asked anybody about the holidays. What ah, can we expect from the first, like? either Thanksgiving or Christmas? My, my answers are so great for the holidays. I know. They're, they're, go ahead. <laughs> my answers are so good. Um, no, the holidays are going to be interesting because quite possibly who you think are, uh, is going to be together will not be by the time we get there. Oh. Or maybe they will, but probably not. That was so vague, I don't even know who <laughs> I know, what? 
<laughs> wow, I can't wait to tune in. <laughs> but doesn't, don't you want to tune in? Because there is something happening where, like, there's something really fun, I should say. Yeah. There's so much fun stuff. I don't know what you're there actually is. There is. There might be some <laughs> crazy, wild something happening. Like in the sense when we had angry sex, that was new and interesting. And yes. I, I believe the first time that's ever happened in soap history. Angry Never. sex. Angry sex. And how do you how do you prepare for an angry sex scene? We laugh and giggle a lot first. And <laughs> that wasn't my method. I teased her. It made her mad. You did? Yeah, I wanted to get, I wanted to get you angry. So we'd have angry sex. Why would I tell you jokes and have fun? That'd be funny, silly sex. Well, because... No, we gotta work on our right. method. <laughs> I'm thinking one way, he's thinking another. No, it's great. Awesome. Well, because when you read it, you go, what? <laughs> yeah, there's some surprises. Yeah. I know what you're talking about now. No, so, so you, you know, especially with our off camera relationship, it's just banter, banter, push, push, push buttons, X marks the spot. You know, it's like, you know, it's, it's a fun relationship. <laughs> it's a sibling. You know, like my brother always says. So, um, you know, so you have these, and when you have to have these physical relationships, it's like, you know, you're like 12. And then, and then you get over it, and you're like, okay, let's do this. Angry sex. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. We're actors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, when I when you actually have to be serious. I mean. But to answer your question about what's coming up for the holidays, <laughs> which we kind of got off a little bit. We're coming back around. She's right, though. There's not much we can give away because That's why it's, so it's vague. Very, it is very specific. But um, their Brady's and Nicole's relationship is going to be tested. Okay. And it's going to be based on things that she wants in her life, things that I need. Um, and it's just choices are going to have to be made. Brady seems pretty happy. With they're not going to be. The they're not going to be fun choices to make. Okay. But you know, as in life, we have to make choices. Yes. Are tough. Yes. Um, we, we got the finger, but one more question. With Vivian out of the sarcophagus. sarcophagus. Is that a cool word, sarcophagus? Yeah. sarcophagus. Call us the sarcophagi. The sarcophagus. <laughs> is, is that going to mean trouble for you guys? Like, is she going to be focused on you now because you were part of... Well, if I may, uh, the interesting thing about Vivian's character, and yeah, Brady has said this many, many times, she doesn't go after you, she goes after the people that ah, you love. Okay. And that's that's a low blow, and that's that's how you really hurt somebody. Yeah. You know, okay. do whatever you want to me, but just don't hurt my family. She goes after the family. Okay. So, Smart. of course she's going to be a force to be reckoned with. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm confident, I think Brady is up to the task of taking care of Vivian. I took care of her once, I'll take care of her again. It's not a problem. I don't sweat you, Louise. Bring it on. She doesn't have anything on me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're her first target. Yeah, exactly. She knows that I like it. Can I get a picture of you?